Hello everyone, in this video I will be solving Cambridge IGCSE Information and Communication Technology Paper 3, May June 2023, Variant 3.2 I will be solving the spreadsheet task, the image editing and the web page task is already done. You can find the link in the description. So you can see we have a spreadsheet which is currently running three projects. These are the projects and it records the income from the donations. You have to edit this spreadsheet and all currency values must be dollar displayed to two decimal places. Open and examine the file j232project.csv. So I have the file open here. This is the project file. Copy and paste the contents of cell A4 into cell B5. So first let's click at this corner and make sure all the data are completely seen. Just double click on the border. So the contents of cell A4 should be pasted into B5. This is A4. So copy this and this needs to be in B5. So I will paste it here. Delete rows 3 and 4. You can select rows 3 and 4. Right click, delete. Place in the header central line the text spreadsheet prepared by followed by a space. So go to insert, header and footer. It should be center aligned. So in the center, you have to type the text spreadsheet prepared by, followed by a space, then your candidate details, then a space followed by the text on, and then space, today's date. So give your name. center number, candidate number, give a space on, then a space and today's automated date, then space followed by at and automated time. So on, give a space, current date, a space, the word at, after that a space and current time. Then we need to save the spreadsheet with the file name project followed by your center number and candidate number. So let's come back to the normal view. Go to view, normal. Now let's save this. It should be saved as project followed by your center number and candidate number and it must be saved as a excel workbook so save this next we need to format the spreadsheet as given merge the cells a1 to n1 so a1 to n1 merge then A9 to A12 A9 to A12 A13 to A16 A17 to A20 Merge and Center A1 to N1 should have a solid black background. So select this. The background is black. Set the phone color to white. You need to give appropriate phone size for this. Let's give 24.
and it is bold now you need to do the formatting this way if you look at this you can see this project month income and all these month names are bold and centered all of this and all the text in first and second column all are centered so first let's make it center center line now all these cells are bold this expenditure total and balance all these are bold and you can see here there is a gray shading for these cells so i have selected all these cells let's give a gray shading here now place in appropriate cells functions to calculate the total expenditure for each project for each month for that you need to make sure these cells are aligned to the middle vertically also so select this click here so that it's aligned vertically now for each project so these are the three projects we need to find the total expenditure so these are the expenditure we need to find the total so let's give sum of these three values so you got the total expenditure for january now in order to find it for all the months you can replicate it horizontally like this now we need to find for other projects these two projects you can just copy this copy so the formula will be copied you can paste it here here also you can paste it so for each one you can see now this is the sum of c13 to c15 so formula is replicated when you are copying it so that's done place in cell c23 a formula to calculate the balance for the elephant project in january in c23 so in c23 we have to calculate the balance so you can see this is the income for this for elephant in january and this is the total expenditure so the balance will be the total income minus the total expenditure so this is the total income for the first project for the elephant project so equals this is the income minus the total expenditure for the first project is this one for the month of january so if you give this formula press center you got the value now in order to calculate the balance for each month you can just replicate this horizontally now same way we have to calculate for the next two projects calculate in cell c24 and 25 the balances for other two projects so same way equals the income for the second project is this value 
minus the total expenditure is given here. You can replicate this for all other months. And for the next one, the total income is given here minus the total expenditure. Apply appropriate formatting to all cells containing numeric data. So we need to set the currency symbols here. All of this indicate amount of money. So you can select all of this. Right click, format cells. Go to currency. In the beginning they have told you it must be dollars with two decimal place. Select dollar, two decimal place. Okay. Apply conditional formatting to only cells in the range C23 to N25. So that if a cell contains a value greater than or equal to 0, the cell has a light green background with dark blue text. So the cells from C23 to N25, these are the cells. We have to apply conditional formatting. So on home tab, you can find conditional formatting. Conditional formatting helps us to format the cells based on a criteria. So go to highlight cell rules. You can find the conditions here. So here it is greater than or equal to 0. So highlight cells. Go to more rules. You can see the option greater than or equal to. Then give the value 0. If it's greater than or equal to 0, we need to set the background to light green and text must be dark blue. So click on format. The text must be dark blue. So font color dark blue and fill color. The background must be light green. Give OK and you can give OK here. So if it's greater than or equal to 0, it shows this color. Next, if it is less than 0, the cell has red text on white background. So, again, conditional formatting, highlight cell rules, less than option is given here, less than 0. Click here, go to custom format. The font color is red and the fill color is white background. give ok and then you can give ok here so you can see white background with red text place in your evidence document a screenshot showing the conditional formatting rules cell ranges and formats so in order to get the conditional formatting go to conditional formatting manage rules so you can see the rules which you have specified here take screenshot of this I'll take screenshot of this window and you can paste it in your evidence document. This is step 13. So this is our evidence document in which we have done web page. So here you can give step 13 evidence. This is the evidence for conditional formatting. Save your spreadsheet. So you can save your spreadsheet, print your spreadsheet showing the formula. So in order to print showing the formula, you have to go to formulas, show formulas here. Make sure all the cells occupy the required width. So just click here and double click so that everything is visible properly. 
Now you need to make sure the row and column headings are displayed. The page orientation is landscape. So go to file, print. You can give landscape orientation and you need to make sure the row and column headings are visible. So go to page setup in the tab sheet. Click on this row and column headings. Give OK. So here you can see row and column headings and the formula is visible. The contents of all cells are visible and now you need to print this way. You will have two pages like this. Next print your spreadsheet showing the values. So go back to your spreadsheet. Now remove the formula. Again adjust the width, click here and double click so that all the width is adjusted. Make sure the printout fits on a single landscape page. The row and so it should be on a single landscape page. So let's go to file, print again, a print option, landscape page and then The row and column headings are not displayed and it should fit on one page. So you can go for scaling, give fit sheet on one page since they have asked to fit it. Now everything will fit on one page. Also go to page setup. Row and column headings must not be shown. So remove row and column headings. Give OK. And now you can print this. So this is how you print your spreadsheet showing the values. Task 5 is printing the evidence document. So this is our evidence document. This needs to be printed. So this is the end of the task. Thank you for now.